felt badly when I woke up, but insisted on taking the kids to school. On the way to work, as I drove, my speech slurred and I got tunnel vision. I remember just focusing on the center line and the car ahead. After I dropped the kids off I decided to go home. I lapsed into a coma. When I started to come to, I was on life support. I had no motor control. I was basically a vegetable. Trapped in my own body. I cannot escape. It is technologically feasible to control most aspects of your immediate environment with the click of a mouse. Hi Henry. Just folding laundry, what have you been up to? The aspect of the bead that I like the most is the sense of independence it gives me. I can go wherever I want, whenever I want. Technology connects Henry to the world 100%, and I would say that is his mental state. The beam has telepresence, has enabled him to go to museums, to go to the Kennedy Center and hear, hear symphony, and, and to react to kids that came up to him. It, it's in, made him a part of this world. Because the reality is, he would be lying in bed between four walls. That would be the reality. I found a power wheelchair I liked. A medical equipment vendor fitted it with a head array, so I could drive with my head. I also have a device I control with brain waves, which lets me sip single malt scotch whiskey without needing a caregiver to spoon it to me. All technologies I use help me regain control over my environment. He is on a mission to bring technology to bedridden people, to elderly people, to free them up. Technologies are often useful for able-bodied people as well. I actually see their physical limitations much more sharply. We both rely extensively on mechanical devices to, to extend our capabilities. My body changed in a few hours, but my mind still has not fully accepted it. I still can move normally in my dreams. I wonder if my mind will ever come to grips with what happened. In some ways, I hope it never does. At least I can still run in my dreams.